Hey guys, HDV here, and welcome to a brand new video. Today, we have a ton of new leaks to go over for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, new star Pokemon evolution leaks, and also all of the latest information from the leaker for the Generation 9 game. So if you're excited for the video, make sure to drop a like down below. Leave a comment what leak are you most excited about for the Generation 9 game. Subscribe if you're brand new. With all of that out of the way, though, let's get into the video, and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, we're going to be taking a look at all of the new starter Pokemon Evolution leaks from Riddler Koo and also just from the, the leaker as well. Basically, all the leaks for the for the Generation 9 starters. So, we have Riddler Koo saying, by the way, I mentioned the Chinese name of the fire starter with that crocodile picture. So, basically, here he is referring to the Fue Coco uh, Evolution name. So, this was posted by Soul Silver Art, basically saying, you know, lastly, you may have seen at the bottom of the list that he gave us the name of the Fue Coco Evolution in Chinese, which is something uh, Sin Sung and I figured out long ago. So here's the link to that thread, but something along the lines of, so basically this is what he's referring to. So uh, it's like the GWJSE phrase that was showed on a crocodile picture that Riddler Koo posted a while ago. And uh, yeah, Fue Coco's evolution name it could be something like Ghost King Chicken Burn Crocodile or the Chinese words for zombie or cockatrice in there instead of Chicken Burn. So yeah, that's basically what uh, the Chinese name of Fuei Coco's uh, evolution could uh, be based on or could refer to. So it could be something like Ghost King Chicken Burn Crocodile or Zombie Cockatrice or something like that. Um, the next thing we're going to be going over though is this. So this is Quaxley's evolution and he's saying the water blent the features uh, from Dance and Peacock. So apparently Quaxley's final evolution is going to have uh, features in the design uh, of dance and a peacock as well. Uh, there's been a load of different kind of ideas about Quaxley's evolution. Uh, we've had a few other leaks, like one leak was saying that he was going to be based off of a knight. Uh, the other leaks basing it off like like this with dance and peacock and stuff like that. Um, so I really don't know because like obviously Riddler Koo is super legit and all these other leaks have been like super legit. So I really don't have a clue. Maybe people are just seeing this design in different ways uh, and making out that it is something different when in reality they're all just like taking different parts of the design and kind of talking about which parts that they, they think are the most thing like i guess the things that stand out the most about it and then we also have sprigatito who got the features from mask clown and a gentleman thief even though that we know that sprigatito is a waifu mon or whatever you want to call it um because that's what riddler Koo said himself um, but again, we've seen a very small snippet of what seems to be Sprigatito's second evolution with the flower thing. And then we've also seen a couple of snippets of Quaxley's final evolution. But we haven't seen anything about Fue Coco's evolution. There's been no leaked images from the leaker for the fire starter for Generation 9. Uh, we also have this as well. Uh, if you're curious about the fire starter, the middle stage got a flame egg on its head. It also looks like a hat in the round. So... Fue Coco's middle stage has a flame egg on his head. So I, I don't know if that's literally an egg on fire or what, but either way, it would make sense because Fue Coco's final evolution is apparently going to have like a chicken on its head or something. So if the middle stage had a flame egg, it would, it would make sense because then the egg hatches into the final stage, which is then a chicken on his head. Um, so yeah, I mean, a flame egg does make sense. It sounds weird. But I guess if Fue Coco's final evolution does in fact have a chicken on its head, which it most likely does, that's what Riddler Koo has been saying and stuff in all these different riddles, it makes sense that the middle stage would have an egg, which then hatches and then, yeah, proceeds to be a chicken in the final stage. So, yeah, I have no idea what to really expect for this evolution. It's also not bipedal as well. It's on all fours. So it's like an alligator on all fours with a chicken on its head. Um, so, yeah, the second stage is also quite interesting as well. Does that mean that the second stage is also not going to be bipedal? Um, I'm just trying to imagine, like, Fue Coco with an egg on its head. And I don't know. I'm really, really intrigued to see Fue Coco's final evolution, just from what's been said. It also looks like a hat in the round as well. Um, so that, again, something about the egg also looks like a hat. Also, this was posted as well. This is fake. Like, um, this was apparently a Sprigatito final evolution. That's fake. Like, that was just, it's not true. Uh, the next thing we're going to go over is that, uh, there's going to be obviously a lot of Pokemon in, um, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Now, we know it is between 120 to 140. Riddler Koo kind of just 
reconfirming this, saying you can conclude that Titan got relatively a little bigger amount of new mons. Just imagine that in Generation 6 that all the Mega Evolutions getting Dex numbers and being new Pokemon rather than just forms. So yeah, he's talking about like Mega Kangaskhan, um, I don't know, Mega Charizard, Mega Venus, or Mega Blastoise. Basically, instead of them being like a new form just for those Pokemon, they're also getting their Dex numbers. So yeah, we know that it's going to be between 120 and 140 new Pokemon. We don't know the exact amount, but we also know that a lot of those Pokemon are going to be future forms and ancient forms. It's just they have their own Pokedex uh, numbers as well. So, yeah, we, we don't know how much new Pokemon, like how many new Pokemon there's going to be that aren't based on anything else. But, um, yeah, 120 to 140 is the overall kind of number. This is also interesting as well. So, Blaze Incineroar, I think, created this, which is obviously really, really cool art, saying my take on how Quaxley Evolution's body would look like. So, this is based off, obviously, the leaks we've seen. And then he sent that to the leaker, and the leaker gave a winky face for it. So, he replied to it with a winky face. So, that kind of makes me feel like that Quaxley's final evolution is going to somewhat look similar to this, um, which I think looks really cool. If Quaxley's evolution looks like this, I mean, I mean I'm picking Quaxley anyway, depending on obviously if the evolution looks terrible, but um, I mean, if it does look like this, I'm definitely picking it. I really, really like this design um, and this whole like red thing. I don't know if it's the bottom of a hat or an eyebrow or if it kind of puts the hat into its face and it's just a part of its body, like... I don't know, like Machoke's pants are like part of his body. Like maybe it's something similar to that. Uh, but yeah, the leaker gave a winky face to this image when they sent it to him. So, I mean, you're going to do a winky face if obviously it looks similar. So it won't look exactly like this, but it's going to look relatively similar to this. As well as this, this is the leaker's ratings for the starters as well, posted by Blaze and Cineral. So Quaxley has eight, Sprigatito has seven, and Fuecoco has seven as well. Um, and I'm, I'm guessing that is in regards to the evolution as well. I don't think that just means for the first stage. I think he's talking about the whole evolution line there. Because obviously we don't know the names of the second and the third stage evolutions for these Pokemon. So yeah, Quaxley's line is going to be an 8. Sprigatito is going to be a 7. And Fuecoco is already a, a 7 as well. Ridlicu also said that Quaxley has the best design wise. So quite a few people that have played the game or have seen things about the game are all saying that Quaxley's design is probably the best. Of course, that is all personal preference. You might take one look at Quaxley's evolution and be like, I don't want any of that. Um, it is all opinionated, all opinion based, but it seems that the majority are liking Quaxley's evolution. Um, but yeah, that's that. The next thing we're going to be talking about is this post here. Now this popped up on 4chan and it's basically artwork of uh, one of the gym leaders that was leaked. So I absolutely love this artwork. It looks so, so good. I don't know who the artist is, obviously, because it just popped up on 4chan. Um, but yeah, like I, I don't know if it's true or not. But the reason I'm including it in this video is because I think the gym leader will look something like this. Um, whether, you know, it is real or not, um, from what we saw on the leak, it looks like, you know, they had like the Magnemite kind of thing on their head, which is right here. I just really love this design. I think that this artwork is incredible. Absolutely love it. If it's official or not, I doubt it's official, but I think the gym leader will look something like this. So Silver are saying this is almost definitely fake, but it's so, so good. And it makes me really excited for these games. I'm ready. Sadly, it's July. So yeah, I don't know if this is supposed to be like her team as well. We obviously got the the Amoongus there as well, which is the uh, prehistoric form, whatever you want to call it. Conkelda is there as well. I think there's like an upside down polywag or something. And then that's just her with a different facial expression. But yeah, either way, looks incredible. Whether it's true or not, uh, whether this is real or not, I think the gym leader will look somewhat like this. So, you know, if the artist is out there, you know, incredible job, looks insane. And next up, we're going to be going over just Centro's uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Leagues Part 7. Again, a lot of people are saying, like, why are you trusting Centro? I'm not. I'm just saying that this is just an easy summary of all of the leaks. Like, all Centro is doing is taking a look at the leaks and then posting it on their Twitter account, summarized. So obviously, what happens with the leaker is, if you're following the account, basically people are asking questions to the leaker, and then he will reply to them, and then that's when it kind of goes all over Twitter. So the replies and stuff go all over Twitter. All, of, all this thread is, is just a bunch of those replies from the leaker, summarized. Like, that's all it is. It's not Centro leaking this, it is him just posting what's already been posted by the leaker it's just easy to go over so anyway pokemon scarlet and violet leaks part seven so the old leaker is back after feeling uh his relevance fading away because of the new leaker but is being vague with a lot of details so this is obviously referring to ku here um i don't know if this is just all ku stuff or there's just other stuff as well um from the new leaker but obviously there's the you know both of them throw their toys out the pram centro and riddler ku you know the Ridlicu obviously takes shots at Centro. Centro says stuff like this. The old leaker is back in after feeling his relevance fading away. Like they're just trying to have like stabs at each other. 
very, you know, school playground drama, you know, but it is what it is. Anyway, uh, so Riddler Koo claims some Pokemon mentioned by the new leaker may be cut and saved for the DLC. So yeah, this is why, you know, you shouldn't believe everything that the new leaker says, which is, I believe he's called Kaka or something like that. Um, I'll just say Kaka for the new leaker and Riddler Koo for the old leaker, just because it makes things easier to explain so yeah Riddler Koo is basically saying that you know every every Pokemon that's met like some of the Pokemon mentioned by Kaka may be cut and saved for the DLC so obviously Kaka has been talking about all these new Pokemon we're seeing like this new Hammer Pokemon um, the new Ghost Dog Pokemon all this and that and basically Riddler Koo is saying hey you know some of these might actually be cut and saved for the DLC so you don't expect to see like all of these Pokemon um, that the Kaka is talking about that, that's going to be in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's base game like we know that DLC is going to be a thing um, but yeah, expect some of those Pokemon to be in the DLC instead. They also reconfirmed that Taurus and Whoop are the only two regional forms for the base game. So yeah, that was something we went over in yesterday's video. Um, yeah, Whoop and Taurus are the only Pokemon getting regional forms, which is kind of crazy, but it is what it is. I'm guessing that's just because there's a bunch of new, you know, future forms and prehistoric forms or ancient forms, whatever you want to call them. We don't know the specific names. I'm really intrigued to see what Pokemon are going to call these new forms, whether they are going to be called like ancient and future or whatever. Um, so yeah, they're the only two getting regional forms, so that was reconfirmed by Riddler Koo. There are three new dog Pokemon. One of them is the ghost dog mentioned by the other leaker. So, um, yeah, basically Kaka said there was going to be a new dog Pokemon, and Riddler Koo is now saying there's actually three new dog Pokemon. One of those is a ghost. Um, so I don't know if it's going to be like ghost, like, I don't know, like, like a type trio. So it could be like one's ghost, one's dark, and then, I don't know, they're all like good and bad against each other. So it could be like... Uh, I don't know, I'm trying to think, like, Dark's obviously good against Ghost, Ghost could be good against, um, I don't know, I'm trying to think of what Ghost is good against, I don't know, it's a bit of a weird type trio to be fair, because Dark, Ghost, and Psychic, I guess, but then Psychic's obviously not good against Ghost, and it's bad against Dark, but either way, you know what I'm trying to say, like a Fire, Water, Grass situation, and there's one new Spider Pokemon line, it was teased on the first trailer, so that's obviously referring to the spider web that we saw on, I think it was like on a chair or something like that, people thought it was like a new gym leader or something like that, but apparently it is a new Spider Pokemon line, and then a hardcore queen gets a future species. So no idea what that hardcore queen is. Could be, um, I don't know, like, I have no, no idea. But to be fair, hardcore queen, that, that, that could literally be anything. And then also a pseudo legendary Pokemon gets a future species as well. So Dragonite, Tyranitar, uh, well, we know that Metagross isn't in the game. Could be Garchomp, something like that. I'm thinking it's Dragonite because we saw Dratini on the fountain in the, the very first trailer for these games. So I think it could be Dragonite. We know that Metagross in, in the game. I don't know if Salamence is. I can't remember what, what... what. Honestly, taking a look at all these leaks, I can't remember what is and isn't scrapped for the game. But a pseudo-legendary is getting a future form. Another pseudo-legendary gets an ancient species. So you've got, like, let's say, Dragonite getting a future form. Then you've got, like, Tyranitar getting an ancient form. Um, so... And they will also have new Pokedex spots as well. So they will be, like, technically new Pokemon. So, yeah, could be two pseudo-legendaries in this game. Could be four. Um, and then he goes on to say, a Gen 1 Pokemon gets a Convergent Species that turns it from a Sea Pokemon to a Ground Pokemon. Um, so, yeah, I guess a Water type. Uh, I think Riddler Koo says something like something that crawls out the sea. Um, so I'm trying to think of something that's like a Water type that could crawl out of the sea. Maybe like Krabby from Gen 1, I guess, crawls. It doesn't really crawl, but maybe Seal? Seal kind of crawls out the sea? I don't know. But yeah, it's a Gen 1 Pokemon that turns it from a sea Pokemon to a ground Pokemon. And then a Gen 5 Bug gets a future species as well. So Generation 5 Bug, um, trying to think of a Generation 5 Bug off the top of my head. I can't. Gen 5 is the, the gen that's like my least well known just because I played it the least. But yeah, a Generation 5 Bug type uh, is getting a future species. And then Legendary Pokemon are getting Ancient and Future Species, but the leaker thinks they may be saved for the DLC. So that makes sense. There's going to be like another Galarian Bertrio situation. Obviously, Moltres at Dos Articuno in the Crown Tundra. They got their Galarian forms. I'm guessing it's going to just be something similar to that, where it could be the Legendary Dogs this time. It would make sense. Or the Legendary Beasts. Um, we obviously got the birds in the last game, and then in Gen 9, it would make sense for us to get the beasts. And then they would get, like, new ancient future species. So, like, Entei could get, like, a future form, and then Raikou and Suicune could get, like, uh, ancient uh, future forms or whatever. Anyway, there are two Pokemon that get both future and ancient species. So, um, I don't know. It's not Charizard, because Charizard's not in the game. Um, so, I really have no idea who that's going to be. Maybe Pikachu? It's got to be quite a big Pokemon to get both a future and ancient species. 
could potentially be Eevee, maybe? Who knows? And then the leaker seems to imply that the ancient slash future species will be treated as legendaries. Um, which is kind of crazy because we've seen Pokemon like Jigglypuff and Amoongus uh, getting uh, these ancient species. So does that mean they're going to be counted as legendary? I have no idea. And then, no, a previous version of the last tweet incorrectly mentioned that it was Karaid and Maraiden who are getting those uh, the species in the DLC. We incorrectly uh, assumed the leaker was referring to those, but in reality, never specified. We have corrected it now. Sorry for the confusion. So they are all the, the latest leaks. Well, there's more leaks and stuff as well to go over. But again, for today's video, that's all the leaks that I'm going to be going over. Again, there's still stuff to go over about like breeding, um, ranked battles and stuff. That's all kind of getting leaked now as well, whether that's going to be in the game. But that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do consider hitting that like button down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. Leave a comment with your thoughts on any of these leaks we went over today. Also, what star are you choosing for the Generation 9 games? Subscribe if you're brand new. That's everything from me. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.